An original ballet unlike anything you've ever seen before is coming here to Denver. Lucy Negro Redux will be at the University of Denver. It's for two nights only, so you don't want to miss it. Performed by the Nashville Ballet, it's based on a book of poetry by Caroline Randall Williams. And Williams is joining us right now on CBS News Colorado to tell us more. Caroline, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Now, what is so amazing that is that you're actually a part of this ballet, performing your spoken word on stage, and what has it meant for you to be a part of this project? Oh, it's nothing less than a complete dream come true. Uh, Paul Vasterling, who's the creative director of National Ballet and also the choreographer of Lucy Negro, read my book of poems uh, and said, can I, he reached out to me. I'd never met him. He reached out to me and he said, can I turn this into a ballet? And I said, that's the most exciting and unexpected thing I could imagine. And um, the fact that I actually get to perform my poetry, um, you know, as a cast member along with the dancers is uh, just the biggest gift. It sounds incredible. So tell us more about Lucy Negro Redux. What is the story and what inspired you to write this? So, uh, I'm a Shakespeare girl. I've loved Shakespeare since I was a little kid. Um, theater kid, Shakespeare girl. I also love the blues. I love it all. But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm a Shakespeare girl and I uh, studied Shakespeare very earnestly in college. And then I wound up getting my MFA in, in writing poetry. But I also loved the stage. And I thought about, you know, the last uh, 37 uh, sonnets of Shakespeare's sonnet cycle are devoted to what literary criticism calls the dark lady. Um, and history speculates about, uh, scholars speculate about who the dark lady was. And I decided that uh, I picked one of the viable candidates, a woman called Black Luce or Lucy Negro, who ran a brothel um, right around the corner from uh, Shakespeare's theater, The Globe. Uh, and it's not clear whether or not she was definitely a woman of African descent, but she very possibly could have been. And so I was like, that's enough for me. I'm a creative writer. Shakespeare has a black girlfriend. I'm going to write a book about it. Um, and so I did. Uh, and then we turned it into a ballet. So this is a ballet that is um, a young Southern black woman's dream about Shakespeare and his black girlfriend, who maybe actually was Shakespeare's black girlfriend, uh, who also ran a brothel and was really empowered and kind of wild and wonderful. Uh, I did a whole, I won't, I won't do the deep dive right now because I hope everyone comes to see the show and I can talk about the research I did and the history and because there are poems about all of that, but that's the gist of the thing. That is amazing, Caroline, and we don't want to give it away, right? We want people to come. Right. So for many people, their only experience of ballet is seeing the Nutcracker. What would you say to convince someone to come see this show? I would say that the, that the body tells stories. We all know that. We know that when we, you know, when we exercise, when we eat, when we connect with people we love, and dance is the most, one of the most powerful ways to experience a body telling a story and this story, you know, and one, this is not a ballet with no words. So you actually get narration. So if you, if you're worried about getting lost because you don't know the story, uh, I tell the story, I'm on the stage, making sure y'all know it. And also this is, um, an opportunity to see Grammy award-winning genius musician, Rhiannon Giddens and her partner, Francesco Teresi. I mean, it's a, this is a multi-genre creative experience. There's an extraordinary set by Doug Fitch, who's, you know, designed all over the world for the finest productions. There's a beautiful love story that is danced. And then there's also this narrative that I get to share in the spoken word. So it's a little bit of everything. Um, and it's a, anybody who likes any kind of art on stage has something that they can come and know they'll enjoy. And then they'll also love the rest. And when people do come and check it out, of course, what would you like them to take away from that performance? There's a line in the poem, in, in one of my poems, I say, there's beauty in the dark, Lucy. Um, what I want them to take away is a sense of wonder at how we can look again at the past and find a uh, new insight in it. Um, and that we can use that reflection to heal, to expand and to connect to each other. Um, and a sense of uh, creative opportunity um, to build unexpected bridges, like, you know, between ballet and poems or between, uh, you know, poetry and bluegrass music, blues music. It's, a, uh, it's, a, it's an opportunity to build bridges. I love that you mentioned that. There are certainly lessons in the past, right? 
that we can learn. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's, I think that the people say, why Shakespeare? Why, you know, there's enough Shakespeare. But to me, it's a question of saying, when I read Sonnet 130 and I say, he wrote, if hairs be wires, black wires grow from her head about the woman he loves. And I thought, oh my gosh, I get to look at Elizabethan England and see a picture of myself if I invite if I invite that. So there's sort of a wonder at looking at the past that allows us to get more insight and to empower us to see, um, see the ways that we are connected. Caroline, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. So Lucy Negro Redux is playing at DU on March 29th and 30th. For tickets and information, just head on over to cbsdenver.com.